Yet another year of coming up short of the March Madness Holy Grail. Just two days and 25 games into March Madness and every last perfect bracket has busted. We all know how it ended. Hello, Fairleigh Dickinson. But let's start from the top. Here's how it happened. We started with 20 million plus brackets across all the online major games. About half of those were knocked off after number eight Maryland's close 67 to 65 win over number nine, West Virginia. One game took out half the field, just like that. Very soon after that, we had our first major upset of the tournament. Furman blew up most of the remaining brackets when they landed the 13-4 upset over Virginia. Just 10% of brackets were left after two games in the men's bracket challenge game. They call it madness for a reason. Later on the first day, another bracket buster and a 15-2 upset. Princeton absolutely stunned number two Arizona in their first tournament win since 1998. Princeton was the least picked 15 seed, so that dropped the overall number to about 0.1%. By the end of the very first day of the first round, we were down to just 787 perfect brackets across all the major online games. Moving on to day two, a number seven Michigan State 73 to 62 win over number 10 USC took out more than 300 brackets at once, down to 450. Number three, Xavier escaped Kennesaw State's upset to spare a lot, but still 86 were knocked out, down to 364. At the 20 game mark, just a few hundred remained, especially after St. Mary's took down the popular upset pick of number 12, VCU. It was the home stretch from there. Number 11, Pitt pulled off the 11-6 upset and number six, Creighton advanced. Just 30 remained. Then UConn beat Iona to take us to the last 26. And finally, with just the second 16-1 upset in the history of March Madness, number 16, FDU, took down one seed, Purdue. One of the most popular champion picks with one of the best players in the nation, and they took down the remaining brackets with them. In our men's bracket challenge game, three times as many brackets had Purdue winning the title than had FDU beating Purdue. Millions of brackets down to zero in just two days and 25 games. Even quicker than last year, if that was possible. Well, let's try again next year.